right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Got a couple of things I want to talk to y'all about today, man. A lot of people been hitting me up about the Bash Plug video, about my guy, Badgy. Plug it! If you don't subscribe, y'all already subscribed to Bash Plug. Most of y'all probably came over here from him, so whatever, man. Go check it out. But a lot of people been hitting me up saying, JJJ. Did you see what's going on? I'm going to talk about that in this video. Also, the 2K community just exposed themselves, man. I, we had a good conversation yesterday, and I want to try to continue that conversation today about why people are going back to the other 2Ks and stuff like that. And these are my opinions. And this is my opinion and stuff like that, bro, because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going back to them joints just because I remember what it was it's just like going back to call of duty and stuff but we're gonna talk about that in the video so if you don't do nothing else make sure you like the video man let me know which one you think is the best 2k i think the 2k 16 uh was one of the best i i liked 17 a lot of people didn't like it i liked uh 20 a lot and i really 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 like this game man so alexa be quiet alexa be quiet anyway man let's just get right into the video i've already talked too long alexa trying to spy on me and i gotta deal with that accordingly if you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, so first off, man, so a lot of people been hitting me up about the bash plug joint, man. Talking about, um, Jay, can you believe the 2K finessing us? They only got the game in in uh 60 frames per second or whatever. Listen, bro, this is what I'm telling y'all. I can't relate. I you see these counters up here? That's 1080, 119. Y'all are if you know about, about uh the frame counters and stuff like that, this is the source. The source is literally coming to me in 1080, 119 frames. That means that it's, it's 120 frames per second, but it only captures at 119 or it only looks at 119 because it doesn't want to give me a blank spot if it misses a frame. This is the frame counter on my actual monitor. I got a, uh, I got a MSI monitor, love this joint, bro. And uh, it's showing 120 Hertz. Listen, if you go in here and you don't see both of those where you can change it to 60 Hertz or change it to 120, that's a you issue. Right, like that's what I'm saying, I can't relate. You see, I changed it to 60, now it says the refresh rate is 60, now the number is 60 on the TV, and when we go up top, boom, it's going to say 59 because that's 60, but it's capturing it 60 frames per second. All right, so now we're gonna go back to settings, and then we're going to change the refresh rate to 120. And just like magic and clockwork, boom, it's gonna show 120. After I, after I hit this right here because, you know, it doesn't know what it's showing there. Boom. Back. 120, 119, capturing at 60, right? So this is the thing that I wanted to talk about. My mind can even go to 1440. Now, when I go to 1440, my monitor cannot do 1440. My monitor can only do uh, 60 frames per I mean, uh, do uh, 1080. But my capture card can do 1440. You see it says 1440p, 120 frames per second. Now, when I go back to 2K, you're going to see it's a little sharper, a little crisper, 1440p, 120 frames per second. So, like, I don't know where that whole information came from and stuff like that that you can't do. And it, my monitor's off because my monitor's not capable of doing this, right? Because my monitor has, uh, my monitor is uh, HDMI 1.4b. A lot of people probably got HDMI 1.4 and they think that, that the whole thing, it can't do it because if you got 1.4b, you can do it. Uh, you can go... You can go uh, uh, 1080, 120, and you see right here, I'm gonna change it back. And you see my Elgato cuts off. It tries to recalibrate the, re recalibrate the refresh rate. 1080, 119, boom. Monitor comes back on and all of that. So I don't know where that where that information came from. A lot of people been hitting me up about it though. Like, Jay, did you see it? Did you see this? Blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to let you know, like I, I, I can't relate because I'm playing in 1080, um i'm playing in 1080 120 so you can do it yeah i think it's just i think it's just a limitation of your equipment because a lot of people don't have the internal elgato and stuff like that you don't got it if you got the uh internal elgato you probably not gonna be at the external elgato if you don't got the external elgato you're probably not gonna be able to do it because not all elgatos are the same my elgato has to pass through so it can pass through up to 4k mine goes up to 4k it can pass through anything that i put through it but it does have recording limitations, and I think the, I think only the uh, the recording limitation is 60 frames per second. I can't I can't uh, record at 120 or anything like that. So 
that's that's what I wanted to say about that. A lot of people have been asking me about it. You see this, this is an atrocity, blah, 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 this and that. And I'm just letting you know, I can't relate. I got the frame counters from two different pieces of hardware. These are two independent pieces of hardware. This is not the, the game itself. My monitor is telling me 120 and my my actual, um my game capture HD, the uh, 4K one, it tells me 120. So I got to guess that it's 120. Now, if you're telling me that it's just that my equipment is faulty or that my equipment is just showing 120 and then this is still 60 frames per second, I, I, I don't got no way to prove it. Or uh, if you're saying they're just doubling up the frames and it's not 60 individual frames, they're just doubling the frames or something like that. I don't know how they're pulling it off, but mine says 120. So I couldn't I couldn't go against what my equipment is saying. I, I would just have to say that we're probably faulting on the side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fault on the side of maybe everybody doesn't have the, uh, the, the newest equipment and stuff like that. And Brute has the same thing. He says he can turn on the same thing and he's got a, uh, a Acer Predator monitor. Uh, they're doing like $800, $1,000, and they can do 4K one something, uh, 4K, and all that he got hdmi 2.0 and he can do it but like i said if you got hdmi 1 you some people probably looked up stuff and said well if i got hdmi 1.4 i should be able to do it if you got hdmi 1.4 a you cannot do it you if you got 1.4 b you can and the reason i know that because i was talking with nelly fox she had got a new monitor and i was like damn you got a monitor like mine and i looked at the difference i was like damn it says mine got hdmi 1.4 but i'm able to do 120 and then i looked up the difference if you got hdmi 1.4 and not 1.4b you're not going to be able to do it and so that it might just be some miscommunication and all of that or maybe it's just like that on the playstation i don't know but i'm on the xbox and uh, on my series x and on my series s i was able to get 120 frames per second so like i said i don't know where all that came from but it is what it is but that ain't what we're here to talk about today man listen a lot of people going back to 2k I'm, this is the reason i'm saying that the 2k community exposed itself outside of just me being able to get uh, clickbait views and all that stuff right there. So make sure y'all like the video, man. Um, let me know what y'all favorite 2K is, like I said. Uh, you know, which one you like the best and why. And which one do you, which which 2K do you think was the best? And then which one do you think had the best builder and stuff like that? Like the best, uh, the best builder. Because everybody's saying that they like all the freedom of this. And then people say that the builder is broken. Like, I told y'all, this is what it was. Paralysis through analysis. You... You, you have so many choices that people will always, instead of trying to be unique and do their own thing, you got so many choices that people will inevitably try to look for the best one. So if I give you three choices and, and you've got, you, you're looking for the best one, it's easier to accept that this is the best one out of all of them instead of saying if i give you a million choices which what's this, which is what this builder does there's a million choices there's no best choice and thus you know people are you know people look at it like that and the reason that they look at it like that is this one appears to be the best choice because this is the one that people chose like the most people chose it so you have the same strength you got the same weaknesses and so people feel like dang i can't stop this when he does this so nobody can but other people can and i just think it's paralysis through analysis but i really the real real reason i'm saying that people really expose and, and so they said expose themselves is because they're saying they wanted to build it they say they want more freedom and now people are saying that the builder is the problem because it, it lets everybody do everything but that's what we really asked for the whole time but like i said y'all just forgot you had to guard that that's it you just forgot that you were going to have to guard that and it's it's cool i'm all right with it if you people would just admit that part it would be fine but they don't want to admit it that i can't guard it but like to me and this is just to me some people genuinely like 2k20 some people genuinely like 2k21 current gen but me seeing a lot of the content creators going back to current gen when they begged and pleaded for this freedom it lets me know that people are more concerned with looking good and 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 crushing people that can't do stuff and cheesing the game and and you know they don't care how they make their how they make themselves look good you know what i'm saying they just want to make themselves look good any way that they can right so it's like like this is what they want to do i want to go back to when i could just play somebody a certain way or do this but see i don't played all these games it's not like this like when, when black ops 1 came out i went back to modern warfare 2 i felt like modern warfare 2 was a better game for one reason because i could play it the way that i wanted to play it if you if you want to play a game the way that you want to play it now you say 2k21 doesn't allow me to play the game the way that i want to play it because it doesn't allow me to play the game the way that i want to play it because um because everybody can do everything and i can't just crush people and pub stomp and stuff like that just say that bro 
because like when I went back to Modern Warfare 2, I couldn't rush. I like to run around mindlessly with my hair on fire. If you are if you are an original Call of Duty sub, you know how I like to play the game. I couldn't play the game the way that I wanted to play it. But I never said Black Ops was a bad game. I just said I didn't like it because I couldn't play it the way that I wanted to play it. And that's really it. Me not being able to play the game the way that I want to play it doesn't make it a bad game. It just makes it n not fun for me. Just like last year in Call of Duty, like I said, I couldn't play that game the way that I wanted to play it. I can play this one the way that I want to play it, so I really like this game. But last year's game was a good game, regardless of if I could play it the way to, that I wanted to play it or not. And I think that's what we get mixed up. I don't like about the 2K community. When something happens and we can't do what we want to do, we, I can't do what I did last year. I can't use screens and stuff like I did last year. I don't look like a standout lock like I did last year because the game literally played defense for me. When all those things change and we got to play the game a different way, a lot of people can't adapt. And so when you, when you tell me that you would rather go back to 2K21 current Zen, well, we know people are cheating. Like, like it's, not, it's, it's really not about people going, look, I, I get it. When you was a standout lock last year and people couldn't get by you and the only thing they had to do was take a shot or something like that and they had to struggle to get shots, you you, you felt good. But now everybody can go by you because you have to crowd people. They have, You gotta crowd them. Anybody can go to the rim. Anybody can do everything because that's what we asked for. So now you can't be that standout lock because it really hurts. It does something to your soul like Swan Tay say. When people keep taking your ass to the rim and there's nothing that you can do about it. It hurts your soul. You feel like, like one, one of the guys was telling me on Twitter, I feel like only people that can dribble should be able to ISO. I don't disagree with that. But when you go to current Zen, you got people that can't shoot that are shooting. Like, come on, bro. So, like, I'm not telling saying that he wanted the people to expose himself. I'm just saying I'm looking at a lot of people go back. Bro, you, you literally have to double team people on current Zen. They got courage slide, infinite courage slide. You got double speed boosting. You got bills that you literally don't even have to guard. Like you don't even got to guard that guy in the corner because nine times out of 10, the guy can't even shoot. And then they talk about everybody making one build. It was really only one build in that game. And it was the play shot. That was it. It was nothing else. So everything that everybody's saying that they hate about this game or they dislike about this game, it's really in the other game. It's, it's it's even worse in there. Like you can make an inside center or outside center. If right now I can make a balanced center, I can shoot, I can get boards, I can play good defense. On that game, you either wanna shoot, you wanna get boards, or you're gonna play good defense. You couldn't do all three of them. So a lot of us in the community are like, bro, we ain't going back and we hope that 2K don't listen to y'all whining and crying about the, 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 the builder is too wide open and it's flawed and stuff. Yes, there are some things in the builder that need to be that need to be fixed. They wanted to give people a reason to pick power fours. And because of that, they made them get different badges in different situations with, with less stuff. They should never have gotten Hall of Fame uh quick first step with less, you know, with less with, with having to have less dribbling and stuff like that. I get that, I understand that. But you got centers in current Zen that are double speed boosting. Are you serious? Like uh, you can't tell me that the reason that you don't like this game is because everybody just blow past everybody and dunks on everybody. And then when I look at current Zen, you literally got to double team people or they're going to blow past you and shoot a three with a Zen or dunk on everybody. Like, that's what I'm saying. I just don't get it. I understand what some people are saying, but I refuse to get it, bro. I'm not going to believe it. Like I said, people just want to look like they're better than what they are. Probably really weren't that good, really, really weren't really that good to be in the first place. And they wanted to go to stage and, and cause it's okay to lose in stage cause you playing against other comp people. It's okay to lose against other comp people. But when you get your, when you out here like down work saying these niggas shouldn't be, be beating my ass like they are. And, and I'm taking these L's and I feel like I shouldn't be taking these L's because they just beat my ass like they are. Like, like it's just like, yo, it's hard to accept. And I get it. But bro, sometimes a lot of people it just goes like that, bro. You're not as good as the, at the next 2K as you were at the last one. That's just how it goes. Like, me not being as good at the game as I was last year is not a good reason to call the game trash. That's all I'm saying. And by going back to these past 2Ks, I feel like the community is exposing themselves because it's like, look, you begged for freedom. I begged to have a, that's my guy Mizzle, man. Y'all go check him out. I begged to be able to do this and do that and do this and do that. I told y'all y'all didn't want that. I told you you didn't want that pressure. I told you you don't want that pressure. And what they said, yes we do, yes we do. You thought you were gonna be the only person to be able to do everything. You thought you were gonna be the only person to be able to defend it. 
and now you can't now neither one is true you're not the only person that can do everything you're not the only person that can defend it and thus you feel like you don't stand out and you're not unique but the thing is when you tell everybody to make the same bill and do the same stuff and do it the same way and people follow you you got to follow me what do you think is going to happen i've been watching nard all morning and they have to double team this guy because he's going to double speed boost get open and go like you didn't have a chance to play you're talking about defense bad and, and next year bro defense and current gen is abysmal like you my boy man man stopped playing the game because he said bro i can't even cook nobody how i want to because as soon as i make a hesitation move they gone and I can just go to the rim if I want to. I can shoot the ball. Like, they can't even defend me. Like, I can't even get no satisfaction out of it. So, like I said, I just feel like the 2K community has exposed itself. We say we want something, but we really don't want. We, we don't want. Y'all don't want that pressure, man. It is what it is. Like I said, it ain't no way. If I go back to two to 2K20, I will go back to 2K20, but I'm only going to do it for a video. It's not because I feel like it's a better game or it's more fun than this. Because this game, to me, is miles better than than 2k20 and 2k21 current gen and i feel like i'll be taking a step back because i really enjoy this game i truly enjoy it and i've made different builds i found the build that i like the best the lonzo ball build i can shoot the ball i can play defense i can do everything that's the build i feel like i like the best find your own build find your own home do what you gotta do and just stop following the crowd and i think you'll be fine man but like well, as long as everybody following everybody else because that's the perceived best bill and i get it because y'all like that you don't want to waste your money so obviously you're going to go try to go get the best bill but if we all make the same bill we'll all have the same problem and we'll all perceive the game we'll have the same perception of the game and that shouldn't be the case you should never be the case we should never all have the same perception we got different life experiences we got different things like that make your own bill make it how you want to play use something that i got as a template and just go from there anyway man like i said the community has exposed itself because it ain't no way i'm going back to 2k21 current zen unless it's for a game like you would literally rather play against cheaters knowing known cheaters than to play this game and learn how to play it and just get better at it and stuff like that i don't get it man. i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop pk the people's champ Gotta speak, gotta speak.